Hi everyone, let's talk about Pitot's theorem for tangential quadrilaterals. We're going to need a certain property of tangents to a circle. So let's say we've got a circle here and we've got a point outside of it and we draw the two tangents that we can draw from this point to the circle and we take a look at the two tangent points. What it it holds is that the two tangent segments have the same length. And this is a property that's true in general for tangents uh, to a circle. So we're going to be using this fact to prove Pitot's theorem. For Pitot's theorem, let's say we've got a circle and we then draw a quadrilateral that is tangent each of its sides is tangent to some part of the circle. So we've got some quadrilateral like this. Let's call it A, B, C, and D, these vertices and the points of tangency we're going to call x, y, z, and w. So right off the bat we can see that we can apply the property of tangents because ax is equal to aw and bx is equal to by and CY is equal to CZ and DZ is equal to DW. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to be combining these equations. So let's start with AB plus CD and we can see that AB plus CD is equal to if we break down AB we get AX plus BX and if we break down CD we get CZ plus DZ and now what we're going to do is we're going to switch so we're going to replace AX with AW and we're going to replace BX with BY and CZ with CY and DZ with DW and if we rearrange the terms we get AW plus DW plus BY plus CY and that is equal to AW plus DW when we put it together we get AD and BY and CY when we put it together we get BC. So that means we have that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC and that's Pitot's theorem. It says that this segment over here plus this segment over here is equal to this segment plus this segment for any tangential quadrilateral and by tangential quadrilateral I mean that a quadrilateral that has an in-circle that is tangent to each of the four sides. And the last thing that I want to mention is that the converse holds as well. What that means is that if AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC and and ABCD is convex, then ABCD is tangential. But this proof, the proof of this is not easy, at least not the one that I know. Um, there is a proof circulating on some well known places um, that is incorrect. Uh, so be careful when you see a proof of the converse. 
but just know that the converse does hold. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.